Good morning. I'm David Knight, one of the regional directors with Landauer Medical Physics. Imaging physicists are very important to the healthcare community. The government and other accrediting bodies place regulations on the use of radiological equipment. Those regulations are there for the safety of you and I, for the operator and the patient, and they ensure that the equipment is being used in the appropriate way. It's the imaging physicist's responsibility to ensure that these regulations are being met. So today we'd like to invite you to go along and see some of the things that we do while we're on site. I'm going to grab some breakfast with my family and then I'll catch up with you guys in the truck so that we can get on the road. See you soon. Thanks for coming along and jumping in the truck with me. One of the things that happens in imaging physics is a lot of windshield time. We may spend as much as five, six, or seven hours a day in the car in order to get to our clients. So as we ride along, we'll talk a little bit about what happens when we get on site. We'll talk about the importance of why we're on site, and we'll get to enjoy some of our day together. So now we'll get ready to hit the road. Of course, the first stop is gonna be for coffee. So let's get on the road. like a uh, grande dark roast coffee in a venti cup. Can't wait for this. This will be wonderful. Thank you. What's on our agenda today? Well, I'll have a couple of stops to complete my day today. First, starting with some equipment testing of a PET scanner. Following that, I'll travel to my other facility where I'll sign some documents as the RSO. On-site imaging equipment testing is the vast majority of the work that we perform. We test everything from CT, MRI, nuclear medicine, ultrasound, radiographic rooms, fluoroscopy rooms, and so forth. All of this equipment has those regulatory standards we talked about earlier. Today, I'll be testing a PET scanner in a nuclear medicine department. These are responsible for telling physicians and radiologists where cancerous tumors are located in a patient's body. It requires a, quite a bit of setup that's a bit complex, so I'll go ahead, get everything prepared, get the phantom ready, and then I'll invite you to come along in the imaging room when I'm ready to begin my testing. Here we are in a PET CT vault. At the top of this phantom, there are different size cylinders that would represent um, lesions in a body. By doing this, we can ensure that the machine is measuring appropriately, that it's testing things appropriately, and that uh, the cancers are actually seen and positively reported on by the radiologist. Oof. Thanks for the PPE that helps keep us safe during this COVID. A lot of temperature checks in the day before we go to work. Temperature checks at each facility. Gotta be sure and keep ourselves safe. Just pulled into a parking spot at my next location. Here I'll go in and review some RSO paperwork. Provide my signatures on that paperwork so that they'll be compliant with the state requirements. Get prepared and we'll take a little walk inside. getting back on the road getting ready to head on home for for the day david what's up man this is larry hey larry how's it going today it's all right it's all right i know it's uh end of the day but i got a favor i need to ask i've been reached out to by the state um they're wanting to inspect my ram license uh tomorrow and i need to get the reports to them sent before the phone call operation should still be in the office tell you what let me see if i can loop them in on our call and see if we can get those sent over to you. Hang tight for just a second for me, okay? Hey, Larry, you still there? Still here. All right, hey, I got Robert on the phone. Robert, thanks for grabbing us our call this afternoon late. Um, Larry over at St. John's, they got the state coming tomorrow and those uh, QLS reports we did, he uh, can't find those in their archive email system. So can you queue those up and email them back over to him? Sure, no problem. For St. John, Q4 2019 and Q1 of 2020. Yep. I'll send them right over. That was a great interaction. Here at this late hour of the day, we were still able to provide the customer with what he was needing in order to pass, a, potentially pass an important state inspection tomorrow. That's peace of mind that he can have is making a difference for him in the clinical setting. You know, another important reason that we do this work 
is for those individuals that we love. So when my family has an emergency, your family has an emergency, there's no question that they're gonna get the best care. The machines will be working to give them the best image quality with the lowest dose. No matter who it is, these individuals get the best care that they can get.